Hi everyone, it's Vela from Online Combat Battalion with another Armor 3 Eden uh, editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a question from Austin Taylor who asks about uh, ending a task when a group of units is destroyed. It's a pretty simple thing to do. It can be a little time consuming depending on how many enemy units you place, but um, it's not difficult to do. So first thing I've done is placed a friendly unit which is my playable unit and I thought I'd use a helicopter today instead of just infantry to mix it up a little bit make it a bit interesting and I've placed a trigger first up uh, it's just an area trigger and to get this you go to F3 in the editor and I've selected the bottom one which is a trigger that's 10 by 10 by 10 meters in this trigger double click with your left mouse button to open it up and I've set the activation type as any player present and I need to move this onto my playable unit so it will activate the trigger. Next thing I've done is I've placed an enemy unit down here just move those out of the way for now and to get to an enemy unit that's grouped together in the editor you'll see F1, F2 F2 is Compositions, Op4, and instead of placing single unit, this will place a group of units that are all grouped together, as you can see there. I'll just take those out because I have actually already placed them. Now, what I've done is manually moved these guys apart so that they're not all in a little gaggle. So, what I've done is with each individual member of this group you click on them or double left click and give each of them a variable name in this case I've just used EN1 for enemy 1 I've named this guy enemy 2 this guy enemy 3 and this guy enemy 4 so they all have a variable name What I've then done is placed a create task module and you can get to that by going to systems down to intel and create task just left click on that and drop it on the map once that's down open the task I've set the owner as all playable units given the task ID as task 1 title destroy the enemy description destroy enemy destination module position and the state as assigned next thing I've done is place down a set task state which you can also get from systems Intel and set task state which is the one on the bottom if we double left click on that and it open it up we'll set the state as succeeded so when this task is completed it's succeeded when the trigger conditions have been met now this is where we need to set the conditions for the trigger to end the task once all these guys are eliminated. This trigger here, which I've gotten from F3 as the first one, doesn't have a size. Double left click. You can leave all of this alone, you don't need to touch any of this stuff at the top. But in the condition here, I've put exclamation mark alive EN1 or enemy1 for the variable name of the first troop the AND symbol twice then space alive exclamation mark alive space EN2 space AND AND symbol twice space alive and so on so I've got enemy 1 enemy 2 enemy 3 and enemy 4 and at the end just a semicolon to end the line with. So you know where the task is, there's a set task state to complete it. Once these trigger conditions have been met and it doesn't matter where you place these but you should have the task marker or the create task in the vicinity of where you want the task to be um, placed. So your players will be able to see the task on the map. Now to show you that this does work rather than destroying all of them in one go. I'm just going to move them apart. So 
that I don't wipe them out in one hit. And we'll... Oh, another thing is um, I've set a slight delay on the trigger to activate the task. Um, I did set it to 10 seconds. I might just set that to 20 seconds. You should always do this because sometimes it takes a little bit for your mission to load in and you want to make sure all your players are loaded into the mission um, before the task is triggered. You don't have to, it's just uh, they may not be able to see it if the task triggers and they're not all loaded in. They won't see the notification. So I'll show you now how that works. Okay, I've taken the helicopter out, although it's fun to fly. Um, it's hard to hit much on the ground with and I don't want to waste too much of your time by watching me flying around shooting at the ground. So I've just moved the activation trigger to here and I've got an MG operator and this should be, fingers crossed, fairly simple to achieve the objective. So let's see how that one works. We're just going to play it in single player. Alright, our task will fire shortly and I'll set up to make sure these guys have a really bad day. And there you go, the objective's there. And that's the group leader there. And you'll notice the task has not completed, even though the group lead is down. That's the next one down. Now three of the four are down, and the task still has not completed. And there you go. Destroy enemy task completed. It's that simple. So, Austin Taylor, I hope that um, answers your question on how to end a task when a group is eliminated. If you have any further questions, uh, just post them in the comments below and I'll get to making more tutorial videos when I can. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this content and um, learnt something from it. If you do like it, um, give us a like, a share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.